Welcome to Piggy Roleplay. I don't know. I'm sorry. That was a very dramatic intro. <laughs> But welcome, to, guys, to another piggy roleplay. Let me just quickly go and turn off the shadows, just so we can see a bit more here. And look at Mr. B with the moves. He's looking amazing. Look at him. Oh, yeah. With them dance moves. I wish I could uh, dance just like him, but we'll, we're, we're going to try. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> not, 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 not quite as good. Anyway, today, guys, we're going to be making cursed piggy skins. Uh, kind of like this one. This is, uh, yeah. <laughs> Kind of like that, but we're going to try and make the most cursed skins in Roblox Piggy. If you guys didn't know, leaving a like helps a lot more than you think. It helps a lot more people see my videos, and it just means we can all share the fun. Just like this guy here. Hello, Ethan Hulk. I, I'm guessing he's left a um. I'm guessing he's left a like on the on the video. If you guys didn't know, we can actually create custom skins, and how to do this is you got to press this button here, which says create. Create skin. I mean, it's quite self-explanatory, <laughs> but I thought I'd tell you guys anyway, just in case you don't know. Oh my goodness, yes! Look at this skin. Oh my goodness, Giraffe, you are looking absolutely fabulous. Guys, I, I think I'm simping. I think I'm simping over Giraffe. <laughs> let's just walk away. So let's go ahead and create our custom skin. So as you can see, this is like the template of it. I'm guessing we're facing this way. So we can choose either a zombie. Let's go with a shirt. So you get the shirt, you got the dress, you get the long dress, oh, you can either go for the zombie, that looks creepy, I mean that is very cursed, or a skeleton, which kind of looks dead, <laughs> maybe not the skeleton. Okay, so first of all, I feel like I'm going to go with the zombie because that was really cursed, and we're trying to make the most cursed skins today, guys. Okay, let's go with next. Let, which head shall we use then? Which is like the most cursed piggy skin? Ellie is very cursed. I mean, the eyes just look really scary. They, really, really, they do scare me, I'm not going to lie. However, Devil, I don't know. I feel like Devil is probably one of the scariest skins out there. So we're going ahead now to change the body colours. So let's go with red there. And let's just change it all. Oh, you can actually change the eyes as well. Oh, wow. Um, I'm not sure how this works. I'm trying to do it. Let's go with right people. Oh, so we can actually change the colour of the of the infected eye. That's so cool. So let's go with like a... I want a colour that goes really well with red. Like it stands out a lot. So maybe, honestly, like a bluey or pink. I feel like the pink stands out quite well on the red. So I'm going to go with that. I feel like it looks quite good. Let's go next. Uh, let's do the legs. We'll give it a green leg maybe. We're just going to give it random colours just to make it look really, really cursed. If I go to the right... Arm. Let's make it like a bunny colour, so it looks like it's bunny's arm. <laughs> if we go to the left arm, we can make it maybe pony's colour. <laughs> so we've got pony's arm, mousey's arm, <laughs> devil's leg, maybe dino piggy's leg, I don't know. Okay, I've gone for the green, but I'm going to show you guys why I went for the green in a minute. Y if you guys know, it might make sense, but for now I'm not going to explain why I've gone for the green. This is going to be the most cursed skin in Piggy, guys. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. <laughs> so let's go next now. What's this? Oh, we can actually change the colors of accessories. We've got a tail. <gasps> you can actually get tails. We've got belts. Belt two. Oh, that's like a, the torches one. That's awesome. Belt three. So that's clownies. That's cool. The tail. Oh, this is like a big furry tail. I wonder if you could change the color of a tail. Oh, you actually can't. That is so cool. Devil with a tail. <laughs> Let's go on tail three. Let's take this one out. That one's not the best for devil, to be honest. I don't feel like it suits as much. That one's a bit too small. And that one, there we go. Oh my goodness. We've got a dino piggy tail on devil. How cool does that look? That looks amazing. Yes, we're going to go with that. I do like that. Let's see what else we can do then. Toggle dirty dress. So we can have like a dirty dress. Toggle eyes. Yes, we definitely want eyes. What else can we do? We can choose the weapon now. Okay. So I would go with... Uh, the devil weapon, but I don't really I don't I just feel like I mean that looks just look cool. How cool does that actually look? But I feel like we can make a more cursed skin. Honestly, I feel like we're gonna go with I feel like we're gonna go with the um Robbie weapon because that just it's kinda like a saw. I feel like that looks quite good. So we're morph into it now, and this is our cursed skin number one. Look at that. I mean that is quite cursed. If you saw this coming towards you, I don't think you'd know what to do, would you really? <laughs> So 
So here we are creating the second curse skin. But now I kind of want to go for like a female skin. So I'm going to go with the long dress. Okay, I feel like I'm going to go with Bunny. And we're going to make a skin that if Bunny returned, this is what she would look like. So say if she come back from the dead, this is what Bunny would look like. So we're going to go with a Bunny skin. And let's see what color we go for with Bunny. I want, her to, I want her to look really, really scary, to be honest. So, I say we go for, like, a dark dress, as if she's turned dark. Okay, so there's Bunny in, like, a really dark dress. But now, here comes the fun part, is adding weapons and changing the eyes. I'm just making her look overall really, really scary. So, we, of course, we can add things now onto her. I don't think most of them show. We can have, like, a really big tail, like a... I know she's a bunny, but she could have, like, a really scary tail. Imagine if she had, like, a big bushy tail like that. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like this tail works quite well for Bunny. If Bunny returned and had a massive tail like this, even though she's a bunny, imagine if she had a giant tail like this. How cool would that be? <laughs> I need to match the colour now, kind of, to, uh, of, of, of course, what Bunny is. I'm just going to try and match up the colour quick. Okay, that is the closest I can get. That took me quite a while to get that, to be honest. But I'm going to go with that and apply this, and then let's go with next then. So that's the accessories done. Toggle to dirty dress. I don't think it shows as much on the black dress, but it looks good anyway with a dirty dress. So we're going to go with that. Toggle eyes. Yes, we definitely need an infected eye. So let's see which weapon would suit Bunny's return skin now. Which weapon would suit it? I want it to look really scary. Of course, we all loved Bunny before, but now she's come back. She's a villain. How scary would she look? Or maybe she's not a villain. Maybe she's actually trying to help everyone out. Oh, honestly, I think the kitty weapon's quite scary because it looks like she's in a graveyard. She's just buried a victim. <laughs> How cool does it look? Let's look at the dino piggy one quick as well, actually, because I know the dino piggy one's quite scary. Where's the dino piggy weapon? He, to be fair, the berry weapon goes quite well. She's got like a big, massive knife. But I want to have a look at the, di the dino piggy uh, one because it's just like claws, and I think that would work quite well. Here's Dino Piggies. Look at that bunny with claws, guys. She's come back more evil than ever. She's got claws, a black dress, a massive tail. With that tail, though, it's not just a tail, guys. That tail can expand and strangle her victims. How cool would that be? <laughs> Imagine if that was a death animation. She, like, threw her tail out in front of her and grabbed them with her tail. That would be so cool. <laughs> Look at this. Bunny is a bad girl now. Look how scary she looks. She has... Wait, what? Why is her arm down there when she walks? <laughs> it looks like she's got three legs. I'm so confused. <laughs> but nevertheless, it is scary. I'm okay, so for the last skin of this episode, guys, we have got to create Doggy. We can't have Bunny return and not Doggy. You know, they're a duo. They must return together. So, we're going to create Doggy's return skin, guys. Also, I want to remind you, if you have any, any suggestions for future skins we should do in future episodes, please let me know in the comments, and I will put your comment in my next video and give you a little shout-out. Make sure to put it in the comments, guys. Okay, let's go and create Doggy's return. So, let's go ahead and create a new skin. Okay, so I'm going to go with a zombie. No. Sorry, I'm going to go with a skeleton because we've not done a skeleton yet. We've done we've done a um, a dress. We've done a zombie. Now I want to go for a skeleton and try and make Doggy as a skeleton. So he looks like he's just come out of the grave again and he's just revived himself from the dead. So let's go ahead and get the Doggy head. Where is the Doggy? Doggy, where are you at? Here's Doggy. Oh yeah, look at that. I hope you can change his colour of eyes. Yes, right people. Let's change the colours. So he's just come out the grave, bear in mind. So we need to make him really scary. What colour could we put his eyes as? Oh, black looks actually kind of creepy. It looks more scary than I thought it would. <laughs> well, it actually looks kind of scary. Even though there's no glow coming from the eyes. Maybe we should add one with the glow. But that does look kind of creepy, actually. Okay, I'm going to go with that for the eyes. Because I think that looks pretty good. With the torso, of course, we need to try and go... Um... Oh, we can't go brown. It doesn't let us. Okay, let's try and go bone colour then. Kind of like white as bones. Maybe I want it to be like dirty bones, you know, so it's kind of not quite right. Yeah, more of that colour. That's more of the colour I'm going for. So it's kind of like his bones. Let's go with the, the same with the, the right leg as well. Okay, I mean, there we go. <laughs> There's kind of like a skeleton version of Doggy as if he's just returned. Let's go next. There's like a white version. That looks kind of cool, actually. But how would the big tail look? Imagine if we did it in white. Okay, do you know what? That doesn't even look too bad. It looks kind of like his spine. <laughs> I kind of like that, you know. 
I feel like we might go with the dino piggy tail as the skeleton because it kind of looks like it's meant to be there. It looks like the spine. And I honestly think this looks pretty cool so far. This is a cool skin. I'm enjoying making these guys. I really am. I mean, that is even creepier. He has no eyes. <laughs> I feel like he's got to have eyes, though. Even though it's creepy without eyes, I, I feel like he needs some eyes. Okay, let's go next and choose the weapon. Which weapon would Doggy have? He's just come out of the grave. Which weapon would he bring with him? I mean, a shovel would kind of work, because he's just, like, dug himself out of the grave. That'd be kind of funny, but let's see what else there is first. Okay, I've decided to go with Daisy's weapon, because, think, he's just broke out the grave. The first thing he finds is a plank of wood with a nail in it. That's what he's going to use straight away. The first thing he finds is that, picks it up, and he's going to haunt everyone. I think that is a good skin for Doggy's Return. Let's morph, and let's play around with it. Look at this. It looks so cool. You could just imagine he's just woken up out of his grave. Even the walk's cool. I like it. I like it. He's been in that grave for I don't know how long now, <laughs> and he's just got up, and look at him. He is ready to attack everyone that gets in I want to thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe if you did enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everybody.